Uh, guys welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to show how to generate uh, a floating uh, youtube video player widget in react.js this uh, i'm going to make it in a way that uh, user will be able to navigate inside your applications where this player is still in the view so it will be at the top of all the elements so that user can navigate uh, inside other pages and still the video will be play for that and I'm going to have a drag and draw this is option actually so for this demo I'm just have a list of uh, my uh, channel uh, videos when I click on it I'll open that and play it in the YouTube player and uh, you can browse through the entire application without actually closing it so for this uh, let's create a YouTube player component I'm going to use your react snippets to create a functional component. We name it YouTube player. We'll just provide a custom video player or some YouTube player. Guys. Uh, for this uh, video player, I'm going to use official uh, iframe or API from YouTube. So let's copy it from their document and uh, just paste it here. And as for the width is concerned, uh, I'm going to make it uh, the width and height of the parent element so that it stick to the high height of the parent. So width should be 100%. The height also should be hundred percent. We don't need this origin. So you can refer to the document for all the available options where we can put auto play through so that uh, whenever this component in, is rendered uh, the video will automatically start playing. And I'm going to add uh, two buttons here. One is the close button for the widget. When we click on it, uh, the entire widget will be closed. I'm going to align it in the center. So here I'm going to use font as awesome icon. Close icon for this. It's uh, I have eight times. And the other icon is uh, to click and uh, drag the video player across your screen so that user can uh, move it to their convenience. So again, now uh, it's going to be another raw font or some icon. So let's put some CSS in place. I'm going to make it as a fixed position. That's it. It's general law with height CSS. You can make it your own. And uh, to place it, uh, you need to go into your root element so that uh, the route navigation will not uh, unmount this component. So I'm going to have that in my uh, home uh, layout. And uh, this will be uh, started and uh, stopped using pretext. You know we can able to have the player, but nothing is functional yet. So I can play it. Now let me create some actions and uh, reduce for uh, starting the video player which will actually contains the video id and uh, its visibility status so let me have two actions one is to start the player and uh, other is to stop the player get action constants stop 
video player which will have video player start this should be stop it will stop video player So the start video player accepts one now parameter video and pass it as a payload to the producer so that the component knows of which video to play it from uh, YouTube. This is normal uh, YouTube video ID that I'm going to store it in the state. Nothing else. So stop doesn't need anything. I'm just going to change the visibility visibility status of the player and uh, set this video ID to Null. So let's go to reducer. First, uh, create this video player in the state, which has uh, two parameters. One is video. That's the video ID of YouTube, and uh, the next is uh, visibility. Now, if visible is uh, false by default. Whenever we start the player, we turn this visibility to true so that the component will be rendered with the video chosen from the user. So it should be start video player. And I'm going to set the video from the payload. dot video and uh, the visible should be true now again we write the reducer for uh, stop video player which will actually clear this video and uh, turn this visibility to false again Take the same and change this to false and the video should be empty. Now let's uh, get back to the component where we subscribe to the store and uh, see uh, render the component if it is visible. For this I am going to use uh, use selector from reacted X. I am going to subscribe to the video player. So whenever uh, the state changes, this will uh, re-render the component. It's a part of uh, Redux. State dot layout video player. Now, if uh, the visibility is false, let me uh, render now. Uh, uh, then, if there was a uh, video, then I am going to change this iframe in URL to accept. Uh, the video ID from uh, the state. It should be video player dot video. That means on uh, now this player will play the user selected video. And here, whenever user clicks on uh, the video, we will dispatch an action. 
with the video ID chosen. This is in the listing screen. So whenever the user chooses to watch some video, he will be able to click on the particular card. So for this, I'm going to use dispatch from uh, React Redux. And then whenever uh, one on click, we'll uh, trigger the callback and say dispatch this. And that the function is uh, start video player. We'll import it from the action that we just created a few minutes back, which will contain video ID. This will send that to the state, the reducer, uh, which will update uh, the state. Now, uh, for here, uh, I'm going to use the same thing for actually uh, so the close uh, action. So, whenever a user closes the video, it will again uh, dispatch an action to this so reducer or uh, to close the video. That means to change the visibility. So, I'm going to use on click on the pendant element of the icon. And uh, I'm going to call stop video player action. Let's go and check. It's not working. Let's see why it's not working. I guess we are not properly dispatching the request. Yeah, instead of just calling the function, we need to dispatch for this action. We need to pass the whole function to the dispatch function. Now again in the other place also we need to go and change it. And let me dispatch it. Now I think this should work. Yeah. So we will be able to see the Player or the video that user chooses. Still, uh, the drag and uh, drag and resize is not uh, applied, so I can close the player right now. So for the drag and uh, resize, I'm going to use React Draggable component. So I'm going to install it. And for uh, resizing, I'm going to use uh, the React uh, resize library so from the same provider. You can also install the same package. So let me install the second package that is for resizing. Okay, all I just need to uh, enclose the player in draggable component, which provides a draggable box. Okay. So I'm going to enclose my uh, video component inside this, and I'm going to provide uh, the handle for this drag with it, which has a uh, the handle icon that we have inside of the component the handle should be handle that's the icon that we uh, created a while back And for resizable, I'm going to use the resizable box from the documentation. Import the resizable box and just uh, I'm to place it around uh, the iframe to allow uh, resizing.
so you just need to set the width and height of this uh, right now uh, the width and height is of the parent element that is some 400, 450 and uh, 300 bits otherwise there will be some problem with this and uh, input the CSS of this uh, react in 6 bit it is all mentioned in their documentation so just follow the documentation Okay, let's try now. I want to open it. Now oh, I was able to drag the component and also resize the component. Okay, why the close button is not moving? Okay, let's check that. Now I'll be able to resize it and uh, drag it. So let's check. Okay, we need to enclose uh, the resizable box inside. Uh, okay, this two icon should be inside the resizable box. Go check it again. Yes, uh, resizable is working as expected, and the icon is uh, moving along with it. So now I can uh, drag it and uh, change the position of the element. And with this, uh, you can actually uh, navigate to different pages, and uh, still uh, this YouTube player will be at the top of the page. You can move it, and I'm going to navigate to other page. Still, the video is playing uh, over the top of all the elements because we placed this inside the root of the layout. Thanks for watching the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.